So there's a quote that says, texting is not courting. Now, some of you might agree, some of you might disagree, but I think we can all agree that an over-reliance on text has made it harder for people to decipher what they're dealing with in dating and if how someone truly feels about them. So I'm going to make it clearer for you by telling you the things he will text you if he really likes you. My name is Stefan Labossier, aka Stefan Speaks, back for another dating and relationship advice video for women. And like I said, we're going to be talking about the things he will text you if he likes you. So be sure to click subscribe, like, uh, like the video, share the video, and comment below. Give me some of your feedback on things you think a guy will text you if he likes you. Now listen, I already know what some of you guys are thinking. So just make sure you watch to the end of the video because I have, of course, an important message that you need to hear to add on to this whole topic, all right? But let's get to the fact that, yes, a lot of people are texting and not everyone likes it, but everyone is pretty much dealing with it. And so I want to make it a little bit easier for you to understand what he's thinking, what's going on, what does what message his text actually sends, all right? So let's go over some things that he can text you if he really likes you or he will text you if he really likes you. Text number one, what's your cash app? <laughs> I had to throw it in. I'm sorry. And now listen, this is one of those times where I'm joking and I'm kind of not joking. All right. Now, please, please, please don't look at any man you're dating expecting him to text you, ask you for your cash app. But I will say that, yes. In today's world, and maybe it's Zelle, maybe it's asking for your Zelle, your Venmo, your Cash App, no promoting of a specific platform, just saying, he's asking you, how can I send you some money? And the reality is that some men will do this, all right, because there is some level of higher interest. Now, again, this does not mean that the men who do not aren't serious about you. Don't misconstrue that. And also, it doesn't mean that the guy who does do that is serious about you. It could be a sign of infatuation. It could be a sign of a high level of liking. He clearly wants to impress you, all right? No man is asking you for your cash app unless he wants to impress you. And it may be a moment of, well, maybe you guys were discussing some things and something that you needed, and he's like, okay, let me tell her, ask her what her cash app is because I want to send her some money to show her I will provide for her. I will uh, take care of her in that way. And so he's trying to convey to you that he's going to look out for you in that way. And again, it doesn't mean he loves you, all right? Could it mean that? Yeah, I mean, could it be a part of someone who loves you? Absolutely. But it's just showing that extra light. But let's get into a more, I, I get not serious, no, because again, I'm, I'm kind of serious. But let's get into a, a, a 1A. That was number one, but let's go 1A. He'll ask you, do you need anything? So it's kind of an extension of the whole Cash App text in the sense that he is trying to make himself readily available for you if necessary. He's letting you know, I have your back. I will look out for you. You know, I am here to be support for you and I don't mind being support in any way, uh, shape or form. And that's why he says, do you need anything? You know, let me know if you need anything. He's showing you that he cares. All right. So again, a man who likes you will do that. Now, the, the guy who does not like you, who isn't serious about you, he's not asking for your cash app. He's sending you his cash app, okay? He's asking you for money. All right? And he's not asking you, do you need anything? He's letting you know what he needs from you all the time. It's always about him. But this guy, again, when men like you, they sometimes go above and beyond. And this is one of those times. And again, some people may say he's just trying to show off but either way, he's only trying to show off because he wants to impress you and he sees enough value in you to, to want to even try that move, all right? The next thing a guy will text you if he really likes you is a quick response. So here's the reality. In today's world, and I am guilty as anyone, some of us take forever to respond, <laughs> okay? We are horrible with text. And so there's a part of me that doesn't want to shed a bad light on the late responders because I know I'm one of them, right? And I understand how we can get real busy and, and sidetracked. And, and I do have an explanation for the late text, one of them. I'll, and I'll tell you in a second. But I will say this. When he is making sure he responds very quickly, 
that is typically a sign that he likes you. That is typically a sign that, again, there's a level of value there. Now, yes, some people could argue he doesn't have anything better to do, so he has all the time in the world to respond very fast, while a more busy, active man may have more delays, all right? And, and let me give you one of my reasons that I do believe would apply to men and women out there as, a, as to why sometimes there's a late text. And I will say this. If you text me or text someone a question or something that requires a long response or uh, I have to process my thoughts before I can respond, and now I'm dealing with so many other things, that text is going to be put on hold because I have to wait till I have time not to just respond but to process. However, I will say for those listening who are late responders, and I'm trying to work in it, on it myself, is if you are not available to give a full answer, simply acknowledge the text and say, hey, let me get back to you later. I'm, I'm a little busy right now. That would be the best uh, approach to take. But again, I'm as guilty as anyone else, so I ain't judging nobody when it comes to late response. But getting back to the original point, yes, a quick response is usually a very good sign that he does have interest, that he does like you, all right? The next thing on the list of things he will text you if he likes you is emojis with hearts. <laughs> now, again, I know what some of y'all are thinking, so please hold your thoughts because I'm going to address what, you're, what, what I know is scrambling around in your head. I'm going to address it at the end of the video, but just stick with me here. I, I, do, I will say that, again, it's typically... Typically, I'll say this, when a guy does not like you, when a guy does not care whatsoever for you or he's not serious or maybe he just wants sex, he will be more reluctant to use the emojis that have hearts in it because the heart conveys a little bit more than just a simple smiley face or whatever other emojis that people will use or the eggplant. <laughs> if he sex you with the eggplant, I think we know where he's trying to go with that, but, but, when he's willing to include hearts in the, uh, the text, that's usually a, a, a good sign of he likes you. Now, let me also just say this for my own defense. If you e uh, DM me on Instagram, I respond a lot of times with hearts. But that's just part of the business, all right? So, so don't take my hearts on the DM the wrong way. But, but, yes, if I'm texting a woman that I'm dating and I'm seeing and I'm willing to include hearts in it, heart eyes and all these things, that's at least saying I like you. Again, this is never going to say that that man, he loves you or he's 100% serious or has genuine intentions. I don't, you know, we can't always say that, but again, I'll explain that a little bit more later. But it's a good sign typically if he's willing to put hearts and, and, and again, take that emoji game to the next level with, with, with the hearts included, all right? All right, so let's keep this going. And the next text that he'll send if he likes you, if he really likes you, is a text to make sure you got home safely, all right? So again, this would of course have to include you actually going out on a date or seeing him hanging out. And then when you are leaving, you know, he may say, well, text me when you get home. So he may take a preemptive strike and say, text me when you get home, let me know you got home safely. And others will reach out and make sure, but either way, he's trying to show a concern for your well-being. Um, Again, I, I, I know that you're saying, man, there's a lot of guys that can do all this stuff and it doesn't mean anything. We'll talk about that. But let's just go with the fact that, again, when he's unwilling to do that at all, and, and this is one of those that it's a little tricky because I, I will say that there are men out there who may genuinely like you and they may not understand the etiquette of making sure you got home safely. They may not understand that whole text. And some of you might be thinking, well, that's ridiculous. He's a grown man. He should know better. Or he's a young guy. He should know better. Common sense ain't always so common. People don't always understand those little nuances. So it's, it's possible that, yes, just because he doesn't text that doesn't automatically mean he doesn't. All right? Uh, but I do think that typically it's a good sign that he is showing you that he cares by saying, hey, let me know you're okay, let me know you got home safely, all those types of things. Basically, any text that checks up on your well-being. So before I get to the next point or the next text, be sure to get your copy of The Man God Has For You. So it's going to tell you a lot more than what he's going to text you if he likes you, all right? It's going to help you with the seven traits that help you determine your life partner. It's a best-selling book. Women are loving it. Thousands of reviews on Amazon. It's all over the place. Trust me, get your copy. Click the link below in the comment section or in 
the description. All right. All right. So next one is a long text. All right. So what do I mean by that? I mean the fact that, again, men who are simply trying to have their fun, who don't really like you, who aren't trying to have any or don't have any serious intentions with you, they want things to be convenient. And so it's more likely for them to have very short responses. Now, again, this is another one of those things. It's tricky. And let me just make this clear. I did this topic because I do get asked these questions, all right? So I have to cover them. But this is one of those topics where I was a little iffy because there's a lot of trickiness in some of this. And again, I'll get more into that. I keep saying it. I'll get more into that at the very end of the video. But listen, the long text, like I said, one, when they're not serious, there's typically going to be short text, quick one-word responses. They don't want to engage in long text conversations. Now, again, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm someone who in general doesn't care for long text conversations. So I know many of you can agree with me. Some of us view texting as short convos, quick sentences. That's it. That's the purpose of texting as far as I'm concerned. But I will say this. When he is willing to send the long text, and it's typically a good sign when he is willing to sit there and type out all these damn words just to express to you or to respond to you, at least he values you enough to want to take that effort, all right? Again, not to dismiss those who, of us who don't believe in all that, but I do think that when we, we really like someone, when we're really into them, we bend the rules a little bit. And sending those long texts or longer than usual texts are now on the table. All right. So I do think that, yes, it is a good sign. It is something that says, all right, he is willing to engage and express. And again, type, 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 type. So long text, another sign that he really likes you or another text that he really likes you. And as we continue on this list, now we come to the just checking on you text. All right. So it's kind of an extension of what I said earlier. Any text that checks on your well-being. So. When the guy can just randomly text, hey, just seeing how you're doing, seeing how your day is going, they're texting you and they're, engage they're, they're initiating text conversation, all right? They're trying to talk to you. They're trying to see how things are going. They're trying to let you know, I'm thinking about you because that's what that random text does. It, it pretty much says, I'm thinking about you and I want you to know that and I want to be able to communicate with you right now. So again, it is a good sign that he does like you when he's willing to do such a thing, all right? And now it brings me to my last point, and then again, I'll tell you the bonus to all this, but my last point is a text to initiate a phone call. So this, to me, is probably the most important thing, all right? Because if we're serious about people, we've got to be willing to have phone conversations or FaceTimes or whatever, more intimate conversation. And, and the fact of the matter is text doesn't allow for that to happen to the fullest extent. And so I think that when he extends the offer or wants to take things from text to the phone, that is a very good sign. Because again, the guy who is not serious, who, who uh, just wants to have fun with you, he's looking for convenience. And convenience is texting. Convenience is the quick stuff, the easy stuff. Anyone can do it. When he's not willing to now move on to phone conversation, that is a great sign. So now let's get to this main point that I wanted to make, this bonus point. Listen, all these texts can serve as good signs. But please, 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 please do not rely on just these texts to determine what kind of guy you have in front of you or if this is going to be a quality relationship. It is very important, even if you're a woman who enjoys texting, to not fall into the trap of overly relying upon it. You want to make sure that you are pushing conversation to the phone, to face-to-face, -to -face, FaceTime, all these things, all right? Because you need, as I just mentioned, a more intimate conversation. And it's easier to dive deeper into each other through verbal communication or, or, and face-to-face face -face, than it is by text, all right? Texting has this uh, thing to it where we naturally kind of are restrictive in, in how fully we express ourselves. Because again, most people ain't trying to type all of that. But verbally, it's a lot different. So you've got to make sure that you make time for phone conversation. Now also, beyond just the text and the conversation, 
it's not just about him doing those texts that says if he likes you. Please make sure that his actions outside of texting line up with the text. So my thing is, if he's texting you, how you doing? Let me know you got home. Even what's your cash app, okay? If he's texting you these things, well, how does he treat you when he's face to face? How does he treat you when you are on the phone with him? Is it consistent? Is there a consistent flow? Because if someone genuinely likes you, then their actions and words are consistent and they wouldn't be limited to just sweet talking you verse on the text. So you've got to keep your eyes open to all of it and not fall into the trap of, well, he texts me this nice thing. That's where women get in trouble where the dude who's texting 10 women at the same time, good morning, all right, and you feel special. And I'm not saying don't value the good morning text. I'm not saying that sometimes that text is a genuine attempt by a man showing you he likes you. What I'm simply saying is if it's really genuine, then that will show in his other actions. That will show in the overall relationship dating situation. So you've got to be willing to look at all of it and not get caught up in just that. One more thing I have to say, all right, it's kit in my spirit. I feel the need to express this, all right? While you're sitting there evaluating what he's going to text you that means he likes you, please make sure that you're giving him something to work with, all right? Please make sure you're not just sitting back waiting for him to text you all the time, waiting for him to be expressive, waiting for him to say something sweet. You can say something sweet too. You can say, hey, I would love to hear your voice. You can say, hey, I would love to see. You can say these different things that make him feel appreciated. Hell, you can text him a good morning. You can text him a have a blessed day, have an amazing day. I hope you, everything's going great for you. You can text him sweet things that say, I'm thinking about you. So don't just make it about him and his actions. Also look at what you can be doing. And, and the goal, hopefully, is for two people to be texting each other loving, sweet things that show that they both like each other, are serious, are genuine, and can have a successful relationship. Okay, one more thing. I know I said one more, but one more again. All right, just, just follow me here. So as much as we acknowledge that, yes, there are some men who could do all of these things, and it doesn't mean they're serious about you. And that's why it's important for you to evaluate the overall relationship, overall behavior, all right, and his overall actions. I also just want to give you a quick reminder to not come into it with skepticism in the moment. And what I mean by that is when he may text you that good morning or when he may text you that nice thing, in that moment, don't jump to the negative. Don't assume, oh, he's just being a player. Oh, he's just texting every, every girl this. I'm just one of many. Like, don't think negative in the moment. I don't want you to become blind to the text and the sweet things he may say in there, but I don't also want you to go, go about it in a negative approach because that will then stifle your ability to pour back into the situation in case it actually is genuine, all right? And again, you don't need to overanalyze his text to determine how serious he is. You need to keep your eye on the full picture, all right, and what he's doing overall and the consistency of his words and his behaviors. So again, I just felt like I had to give you that quick reminder because some of y'all might watch this video and now the, somebody might be texting you right now <laughs> and you're looking at it funny right now. You're giving the side eye. Don't do that. Don't do that. Still embrace it. Embrace it as a positive thing. But yes, keep your eyes open. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. There will be men who want you. But more importantly, is for you to receive the man who values you. And when he's emotionally attracted to you, that value will be there. So I'm going to lay out for you the seven signs that he's emotionally attracted to you.